Hi guys, it's Elizabeth Pfeiffer from ElizabethPfeiffer.com and today we're answering a question that came up in our Soulful Shift Kickers group about alignment. How do you stay in alignment when the world around you is falling down or when you're feeling super triggered or there's astrological energies happening or you're just not feeling really good? And I think in this particular case, she wanted things that were like, you know, don't tell me to smudge myself and go meditate. You know, I want really um, earth-based practical solutions. So I had to actually tap into the guides and ask them directly what their um, advice would be, what their suggestions would be in order to accomplish that. And so the first thing that happens um, with alignment, the very first thing that came up because I did receive the question through social media was disconnect, absolutely disconnect from social media. And what was really interesting about that advice was it's not a, I get off social media for an hour or two and I come back later, or I get off social media for um, a day or two. So when I asked them a little bit more about that, I heard um, disconnect from social media and that in and of itself, seven days. In order to fully pull all of your energy, all of your reference points, all of your empathic reactions and triggers completely out of social media, which is tapped into the mass consciousness, it will take you approximately seven days to reattune yourself. So the second piece is, is once you can do that, right? And it sounds great. Yeah, I unplug for about a week. And a lot of people are like, well, then what do I do? <laughs> I'm like, what else is there to do? Um, and so I asked that question as well. And so what I heard is to really get back and re-engaged in your life in things like um, spending time with your family, getting out in nature, um, really reconnecting back to the earth energy because the earth energy is what keeps us grounded which it helps us stay aligned in our own essence in your own body without external influences so to disconnect and then to reconnect into your life i mean these are the times when you disconnect from social media these are the times where if you're an entrepreneur you write your copy you start creating um, programs, projects, ebooks. Um, if you're not an entrepreneur, this is the time where you pick up that self-development book. This is where you start that do-it-yourself home program where you can work with yourself for a week. Um, you can start working. I do, I cook actually. I like to cook. So I disconnect for seven days and I'm a mad woman in the kitchen. I start cooking things that um, ordinarily would take you like hours to put together. And that really helps you get focused and aligned and brings all of your energy back into your center. So you can read, you can cook. Um, a lot of people like to clean. Not one of my favorite jobs, but um, you can clean, you can do housework, go to yoga classes. I just saw that flash in my head. Leave your house, go out, get connected, do yoga, do some type of form of exercise to help move and cleanse and clear the chakras. That will immediately bring you right back into alignment. Um, they say the more that we're connected, um, the more to social media, the more we're influenced by the media, the more you're influenced by mass consciousness, the more you are influenced by unconscious people that you interact with or scroll through their posts on social media. And what that does is pulls you right out of alignment. Um, it not only does that, but I mean, if you have a, a conflict of interest or maybe you don't agree with someone on social media, now you're engaged with someone else's energy, with, which pulls you, um, out of alignment as well. So if you're already kind of on the seesaw and you engage with someone um, that you are in conflict with, just opinion-wise, not uh, verbally or aggressively, um, that can still pull you out of alignment. Mass consciousness is programmed with the energy of fear, lack, separation, disconnection, and victim energy. So anytime you're tapped into that, that will pull you out of alignment because that is completely the opposite of who you are and what source is and what the divine is. Um, 
So when you're not into alignment, when you're not in alignment, they're saying, and it is harder to get back into alignment when you're bumping from social media or mass consciousness. So the it's kind of like the full reboot. If you take the full reboot, it's the seven days off, you're fully rebooted, and then you can start to ease yourself back into social media. But what they say is if you take those hours off, maybe even a day off from social media, number one, you're not fully disconnected. And number two, it gets harder the next time for you to pull yourself out of it. It's not easy to disconnect. We always feel like we want to be in there and see everything. And it's it's a matter of limiting. It's Can you limit that to 30 minutes? No. Have you ever gone to Pinterest, Instagram? Are you there for 30 minutes? No, you're never there for 30 minutes. So it's kind of like a detox. It's a media detox, mass consciousness detox, seven days. Um, if you're able to do that and do that successfully, you will stay in alignment longer. But the more that you're plugged in and the more um, energy and time you spend on social media, the more out of alignment you get pulled out of. So what I'm hearing here is it's very, very simple when we're on social media to become out of alignment in an instant. Um, there are so many people who are unconscious. They're not really aware. They all have their own specific opinions. Everybody's giving advice left and right. You have people who have no boundaries. And now you're trying to, you know, hold those boundaries. Of, well, that takes a lot of energy to do. And if you're one of these people who are at home and you're on the computer all the time, like I am, because I run a business off of here, then you are going to be affected by what comes up because the moment world events pop up then they're in your face and then you're feeling everybody else's opinion and then you their projections all of the rejections separations and judgments you're getting that projected onto you and you and your energy so when you check on to social media and you check off on a regular day you're carrying like tons of people all over you just from hooking in so today's tip about alignment is social media dieting disconnect from the mass consciousness and all your social media outlets seven days it is a detox it is like being on a seven day cleanse you're clearing out all of the energy reconnect with your own life read a book start doing cooking sewing dancing i'm hearing yoga uh swimming whatever it is that you do take a, i'm seeing the beach take a beautiful walk on the beach or through the woods if you can go outside um reconnect to that earth energy meditation and smudging is still good um, but if you want real um, earth earth oriented uh, processes that's really where you have to keep your mind busy start uh, writing journaling do your copywriting do business stuff um, the third thing is to have fun whatever it is that you're doing have fun have lunch with a friend spend some time with your kids have people over for dinner um, watch tv or go to the movies with your spouse or partner and then just really um, work your way gently back into social media. After seven days, you will notice a difference. You will notice that when you go back after seven days, you won't be able to stay there very long. And there's a reason for that. It's because you're plugging in to that heavy, dense energy. So to answer that question, how to stay balanced and aligned, start with disconnecting from social media and the mass consciousness. We hope that you found that helpful. Um, if you do, please leave some comments below and let us know and share with your social networks. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.